it going today guys? Today we're going to be doing a Simrad radar video. On, we currently have a Halo 24 on the boat and today I'm just going to be showing you some of the basics of the Simrad radar. So guys, let's get into the video. I just wanted to say up front, uh, sorry for the camera quality, I don't have my GoPro at the moment because I'm on the boat, but I do have my phone so the camera quality is going to be good, but the uh, steadiness of the camera might not be as well. I'm going to try to keep my hands steady. Anyways guys, so today guys we're going to be talking about the video, uh, how the Halo radar works, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the different mo modes, and then in the future we're going to have some videos come out on the how different modes work and which is better. and so forth so make sure to subscribe for that guys and hit the notification by the way you don't miss that video and then also feel free to leave a like for me on this video guys really appreciate that as I get nothing in reward for this also guys uh, thank you DB Marine Spice for sponsoring this video uh, be sure to use code David at checkout on orders over $150 or more at dbmarinespice.com and you will get $10 off your online order anyways let's get into the video so where we have here is we have the radar uh, you see a little sidebar it has it tells you like the seas and all this stuff. It tells you some of the vessels around you and their status. Now the status is not always correct. As you can see, it says danger. They're not in danger. It tells you their speed over ground, which is COG. Their cog, which is course over ground, which is their uh, heading. So this one is 323 uh, degrees. And then it tells you the range and all. Uh, so these are uh, some just basic notes to make note of. Uh, and then it also tells you their name, uh, think big, forget me not, recycling, made sense. So what we have here is we have the radar. This tells you right here how far it is. Uh, as you can see, it's the Halo 24. And um, right now, you can see all this other stuff on the screen. That's the Halo radar. So let's start with the modes, guys. So we go to adjust the modes. We go to um, adjust, then harbor, then mode. And then you have custom, which is where you customize it and you can like change the clutter, sea clutter and the rain and then they have harbor mode which is more for harbors or like inlets like I'm in right now offshore which is more for like offshore and then weather which is more for weather and then bird which is to find birds easily so I want to be going through all these modes guys so let's first start off in harbor as we're already in that mode so harbor mode is like for harbors going into inlets and stuff like that so right my surroundings right now is uh, I'm by a sandbar, uh, just show you guys, out here, and uh, the screen is right here. So this is going to be the shore over here. So the shore is, this is the shore, and um, you can see the shore, This you can see this is another boat, this is a quarter mile away, so the other boat is right here, and as you can see it's right there. So um, what we can do if you feel like you're not being able, able to pick up like certain signs and stuff. What you do is you go to back, back, advanced, nope. And then this is just part of getting familiar with it. Also, guys, you can change the uh, the uh, palette of like the color. So like if you prefer a different color, you can switch to that. I prefer the first basic one. Uh, certain ones might be easier for you to read, just depending on the person. Also, there's velocity track, which shows you like if they're approaching or outgoing so uh, let's see so approaching targets it'll like show a different color like you can see this green color is coming towards me uh, normal you can see it's coming towards me and then targets coming away from me you can see will be like a bluish color sometimes uh, I don't see anything coming away from me for right now so you're not gonna be able to see that but you see oh there's a boat right there going away in the blue that is going away from me and then in the green is coming towards me so um, and then also you can turn it off right here in the basic settings off uh, now it just shows you as a red mark and then normal I like it um, when you're navigating so you get an idea of which way boats are going so you can see these blue boats are going away from you and then also now you can see um, the different uh, the different areas of like where boats would be going and stuff like that so right now I have it at a quarter mile radius that way you guys can see everything because I'm not and as you saw earlier and an area where a big uh, wide array like this would be very helpful. Uh, as you can see, it would just be very cluttered. And also guys, you guys may be thinking, oh, you have 24 mile range, why can't you see that far? Well, the answer is no, no, I can't see that far guys. I can't see more than a quarter mile, or actually I could see more, but like 
you can't see it very much farther because of the fact that you have buildings in the way and the beam of the radar has to bounce back and come to the boat and get register with the radar and then try and go to your screen so it's, you're not gonna be able to see like in like an inlet you're not gonna be able to see like 20 miles away from you guys so it just and also just doesn't make sense and it really has no use for you so uh, you can change the different settings here you can have the icons present and you can just change the gain which is like the clutter the cluster really you see as I raise this up the targets are bigger I'm just gonna put it back to what I had it at oops which was I believe 33 and I play with this guys and because it for different people it's gonna have different effects then there's a C clutter which is just like the clutter of the sea, just watch. And then as I raise this, you can see it gets rid of it. As I lower this, it adds to it. So that's just showing clutter. Uh, 33 is really my magic number. Then the rain, this is more for your weather mode. As you increase this, it'll show like clouds and precipitation better. And then the same as if you rate the lower it, um, have that off. And then like different modes, you can be able to change just by pressing this mode button right here. Uh, the standardly, it comes with this, but you can also get rid of this. I believe you have to go to view, and then symbology, nope, that's not it. Okay, so symbology is if you don't want this like circular compass around it, but I think it's a good thing, that way you get an idea of where, what direction things, boats are coming from, like as well like with this. So if we see cogs, course over ground, so seven degrees. Uh, that would probably be 360, 7 degrees would be going like right here. So that's a good thing to have. And then let's go to a different mode. So let's go to har uh, offshore. So now you can see that some things aren't going to appear the same. Some things are going to uh, disappear. I'll put us back at a quarter mile. So you're going to be able to see that some things have disappeared, guys, because the beam of the uh, radar that is projecting out is um, it's a different beam. So like. It's not. It's showing the beam that it's putting out is not as low to the water, so you're not going to pick up all those low targets. So, but because we're at a close range, you're still going to be able to pick it up. But it really comes into play when you're at a farther radius, like 20, 30 miles. And the main reason you use offshore mode is to see like weather and stuff like that. So you're not really using it to pick to see like little boats and stuff like that. Um, but at a couple miles, you won't notice very much difference. You really just notice it when you're at a bigger radius at a bigger range to see the differences and then uh, this mode it can also be altered um, as you can see it still has the uh, velocity track which is coming towards you going away from you also guys uh, I know something you guys might like is smoke trails uh, I'm not the biggest fan of smoke trails but you can have it on uh, target trails and then uh, you can have it set for so many seconds where it shows it so let's, um, if I do it guys, I like to have it as continuous. Um, these are more for when things are farther away so you get an idea of where they're going. But I don't like it because if you turn the boat around, uh, you'll see the smoke trail go all the way around it. So if you made like a 360 with the boat, you would see it. So like you can see these boats that are going out, like this boat right here. So we can see him and I'll just check him out on the radar. So you can see that this mark right here is him. So those smoke trails are the boats. As you can see, they're outgoing and going away, and they're splitting apart. So that's smoke trails. And you see, the problem with smoke trails, guys, is it really gets cluttered, and as the boat moves and tilts, you see all this stuff draws trails, and it really gets really hard to see. So I'm not really a big fan of smoke trails. It's good, helpful, if you want to get an idea of where direction boats are going in, but I like to keep that off and uh, not have that on for while I'm going out and running out. I like to just keep it basic. And then also, guys, these triangles, not every boat is going to show the uh, triangle, but what that is going to show you is that it's a boat, and you can just click on it, and you'll know some of the basic stuff of the vessel. You'll know like the call sign, the status. Uh, now the status is not always right; it says dangerous, but reality is safe. Um, shows you their speed: 21.19 knots. Course over ground: 37 degrees. Their uh, coordinate number: the coordinates, longitude, latitude. Um, and it shows you; it gives you an idea of how big the vessel is even though that's probably off it's just giving you an idea and it shows you the distance away they are the bearing the uh, alternate like the speed the course and all that so you can just click off X off of that clear cursor and then it's back to normal so that's offshore mode guys now let's
guys right here we're gonna stop the, this part of the video and we're gonna have a second part of the video coming out so we're gonna have part number two and that part is gonna be weather and bird this part is just uh, as you might have seen in the uh, title of the video this part is just the uh, harbor and offshore mode part of the video just showing you these parts of the video guys and then I'm gonna show you uh, bird mode and weather mode in the next video and we're not gonna touch custom mode because that's really just custom and just you customizing the mode so um, I look forward to answering you guys questions if you have any so make sure to comment down below uh, if you have any questions and subscribe so you don't miss the next video and hit the notification bell that way it sends you a notification when you don't miss that next future video and be sure to use code David at checkout at DavidRunnersPods.com that way you don't miss any future video guys thanks for watching today's video guys and until next time